nothing out of class. So thanks for doing my art, online art lesson. So this afternoon we are doing some um, artwork inspired by Ana our Anansi story that we've been looking at in our guided reading this week. And we're going to be doing some spider webs. So you can use whatever colour paper you've got to hand. If you've got black or dark blue, that's probably ideal. Um, but it really doesn't matter. So when you have got some black paper, something like that, okay, what you would need is some white chalk or some white oil pastel or chalk pastel will work, work fine as well, even white paint. And then taking your ruler and you're just going to go around and you are going to make that spider web sort of pattern going around. As you do that, be careful that you don't do the lines too close together or too far apart and um, vary how you do them because anything in nature isn't precise so you will get some bits of spider web which are closer together than others so you go carry on round doing that all the way and I say if you haven't got a black um, piece of paper and you end up doing it on a coloured piece of paper or a white piece of paper you can like I've done on here just use the black lines and a black pen so you can do that so when you have then finished um, you then need to start making the lines going across again don't make them too regular make them all different sizes with your ruler going around making some lines going across we're sort of following that African style of artwork that we've looked at before when we did our kente cloth um, designs. Um, also, the work that we did last year on our um, uh, pop art and the patterns used in op art will also come in useful for this exercise. So again, not too regular, not too symmetrical, going around, put all your little um, lines going across like that. And it's not meant to look realistic, it's kind of um, capturing an image from the Anansi artwork that you see in a lot of those books about that character. Then, once we've done that, where you have made your lines going across, you can do some pattern work. So you can see lots of lovely pattern work examples up on that blue one there. So again, you could use your ruler. And again, kente cloths that we did before were a great example of this. So you can do some nice triangles. Um, like that going across, you could do some circles, you could do, you could do um, cross hatching, lines going across diagonally, so you could just start to build up your patterns like that, but as you can see there's some quite detailed ones there and I actually really like on that blue piece of artwork the little white dots as well which kind of mark where the bits of web all join together so that's your activity for this afternoon be um, quite adventurous with your pattern try to mix them up a little bit try not to do all the same thing and when you have finished you could even make a little Nancy spider and put that onto your web as well so enjoy your art lesson this afternoon, Arundel 12, and I look forward to seeing what you produce on Google Classroom. Bye-bye.